Well, in this video, I'm going to show you some beautiful special carp that I've been growing at the fishery, along with a few other surprises. It's a nice little insight into what goes on behind the scenes at my lakes. And on top of that, you'll get to see me covered in mud and pretty stressed out. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Well, that's the shallow end of the stock pond. You could probably see it's all drying up. And then the idea is the fish all end up down here in the deep end and we can pick them out. The water at the moment is pumping out naturally, running into the ditch. And we're just going to give it a helping hand by starting up this pump here. And you can see fish are all down here already. It's all coloured up and they're starting to bubble and by wave. So yeah, exciting times. Well, I've probably got mud on a lens. This has got to be one of the muddiest jobs out there, fishery management. But the stock pond now is finally drained and we have got the fish out. And yeah, I'm going to take you up to the tanks. Uh, we're going to grade them and hopefully I'll be able to show you some lovely young carp with some big uh, potential. Beautiful linear, lovely fully scaled. Let's get these in the holding tank, they're crackers. Look at that lovely one, real scaly. Let's check the weight of this one. Well, there's a beautiful scaly one. Jason's holding up. We're just about to weigh that. We're now braiding all the fish. Sorry about the pump in the background. Some nice little C2s the boys are loading up. So in with my uh, C4s last year, I just put a handful of hand-picked babies and here they are and they're massive to be honest they've done really well beautiful little fish so they're going to be kept for growing on look at them lovely linears lovely scaly ones really good and they're all the similar size two to three pound very big well bit stressful to be honest, uh, helpful from good friends, but getting these carp out is never an easy job. We've just graded them, the pump's on so it's been really noisy, uh, but we've just graded them and I'll pick these four out, I'm going to show you, and these are home growing and they're going to go into Mustang Lake. This, I think this was the biggest, around 13 pound, so that's four years old. And I'll quickly show you a lovely scaly one. This one's probably around 10 pounds. I'll try and pick a mixture. Last year I did put some commons in, so I've, I've not stocked a common. I kind of, I put in four each year. This year's mirrors. And lastly, this one. These are gonna be very, very big fish. You can see the, they've got the body shape on them already. Oh, steady on. Right. They slipped them in. Well, these four fish going into Mustang Lake will probably be 20 pounders in two years time, 30 pounders in another four years. And in six years time, most likely one or two of them will be over 40 pound. Well, these two have been carefully selected to go into my little Spitfire pool. 
I really wanted a zip in so yeah I'm pleased that I've produced one like this. This one's about I think it's ten and a half pound, four year old, but size doesn't matter does it? Look at her, beautiful fish and this one, this one just really caught my eye. It's such a nice fish. Look at those big plates. Everyone loves the scaly one but there's just something about the shape of this one I like as well. Yep. Here we go, look at that beautiful going into a rich weedy home, clear water and she will go black in no time. Good luck. And get this little lively one. There we go, here she is. Look at that. Can you see, I hope you can see that, that is a beautiful carp. There you go. Job done. Well, one other little thing I'll show you in these stock ponds, and this is one of my favourites. I've been working on a little project, growing some beautiful cruisian carp. Uh, I've got some more to stock actually. My friend James Anderson at Devon Fisheries has been uh, supplying these pedigrees. We've weighed one, the biggest one is uh, one and a half pound. I think they're six years old, so they're slow growers, but I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I'm hoping in a few years time, these crews in here will be proper monsters. Another little thing I do in my stock ponds is I have a few lovely little perch. Oh, good catch. A few nice little perch in there. No monsters, but what they do is they reduce the number of self breeds. I don't want thousands of self breeds and these have definitely done their job this year. I think we've only had like 20 little baby carp in there and obviously if you've got too many baby carp you know they're going to compete and your bigger carp aren't going to grow as quick. So yeah these are going to go straight back in when we flood it with water. Well this is hard work you can see me see how deep that silt is. In places it's up to your knees But yeah, there's loads of food in this silt as well. It's hard to show you with this camera, but lots of uh, blood worm and we've seen like, lots of daphnia in the water as we drained out. But that's the bottom of a lake bed. That's what you guys are fishing on. It's all about getting your presentation right, I guess. It's always interesting draining ponds and you see little craters where they're fed. Little holes like that, little pocket of water there. Then if you go up to the reeds, up to the marginal shelf, you can see the stones exposed. You can see like here where they've, they've obviously dug that little bit out there and fed, probably where I feed them. Always interesting. Well, it's interesting seeing all the carp coming out of the stock pond, but look at the size of this big old dragonfly nymph. It's like something out of Alien, look at it. Good bit of carp food there. These will predate on the little tiny fry as well. So if you're growing on from eggs, they're not welcome. But in a carp lake, obviously, really high protein diet. Well, we just graded a few more. And this one's certainly one I'm going to grow on for another year. Absolute belter. Let's slip them in the stock pond. Well, it's nice to be indoors and that job's done for another year. It was hard work filming in all the muds, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could see what I've been doing at the fishery and the sort of carp I've been producing. Anyway, I'm now filling the pond up, pumping in from a lake next door, which takes about 30 hours. Then I can put some fish back to enjoy another year. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Anything else you'd like to see me do at the fishery, just drop in the comments below. Uh, comment about the fish you like, whether you'd like the scaly ones or the plain ones. It's always good to know what people favour. And if you could subscribe to our channel, it would be greatly appreciated. See you soon. Take care.